Welcome back to my channel. So I thought I would do a little daily vlog because it's just a super chill day today. I probably should have vlogged yesterday as well because yesterday was kind of a cool little vibey day. But, oh, so many people watching me talk to myself. Just wait till the yummy mummies walk past. But yeah, I thought I would just vlog because I'm just like chilling by myself today and I'm just doing like, I'm like always like, most of my week like i'm by myself but today is like i have nothing planned which is always so fun i have dinner tonight but in the day i have nothing planned actually i have a doctor's appointment but that's not interesting um yeah so i thought i would just vlog i should have probably vlogged this morning but i'd really do nothing interesting i just filmed some content for mac did some work filmed some content for princess polly um got out like showered did like some super light makeup i'm absolutely loving this combo basically i have like charlotte tilbury flawless filter like the stuff that you put under your foundation but i'm using it as foundation and it's amazing then i have like the refi cream bronzer and the nars orgasm liquid blush and that's it like i don't have any powder or anything which i'm so lucky that i'm able to do because my skin's kept so dry my skin does not have a touch of oil so i can use really like creamy products and it doesn't like slip around but yeah basically i just pulled up and i'm gonna try a new acai place um i was talking to my friends and they were like oh my god you need to go there if you like acai because i only really go to like acai brothers um and like a few other places but they're like no this is amazing so i'm gonna go try i'm parked out the front i can't really see it but i'm assuming it's just behind that truck um and then i'm just gonna like literally stroll down this like street and just like find some cool shops like that's like the most fun to me i really want to get like really like decorate my apartment like i've been doing like a little bit but i want to like make it my like absolute like i love going home to my apartment but i want to make it like my absolute vibey safe space so i think i'm gonna sage it low-key <laughs> just to get, get all the bad juju vibes out of it um but basically i want a new rug i want some new prints i want some cool new look new vases i just want to like really like home wear it up um sorry i got an email but yeah i'm basically gonna go get some acai and then just actually walk down the street and just try and find some cool little shops because i feel like when you try to find shops you can't but when you just like come across them that's where i get the best stuff so let's go get an acai but this is just be like a daily vlog i think what am i doing tomorrow i might vlog tomorrow as well today's thursday oh today's friday by the way so i'm just like maybe we'll just do like a friday saturday sunday vlog but i feel like it's just cool to show you guys what i get to get up to on a normal day i feel like i have to pay to park here so i'm gonna go do that because i've gotten about five parking fines this week and this girl's watching me talk to myself so i'm gonna go i please get the go-to bowl yeah. and i secured the bag i'm so excited should we sit down and do a little taste test I'm just gonna sit at this random restaurant that's not even open yet, so surely they won't mind. Okay, let's do a taste test. I am a team of Sai Brothers till I die. So I'm like, if this is good, okay, I put the spoon in the peanut butter stupidly. I shouldn't have done that. Get off. Get off the spoon. Okay, let's try. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Is there granola? Wait. I'm confused, there's no granola. I'm like heartbroken. What the hell? I literally only got a side for the granola. Oh, that's yummy though. Okay, I'm gonna eat this and then we'll start exploring. That was deliciously yummy, but I think I'm still on a side bro as well. There was no granola. Maybe that was my fault. Maybe it didn't come with it and I had to add it. Ooh, Tony Bianco, should I go in? <gasps> oh, I'm still gonna go in. But basically, it was good, but no granola. Eight out of 10. Hi, queens. How are we? I have a little interruption for a little Culture Kings haul. As you guys know, I absolutely love Culture Kings. I've been living in their fits recently, especially in winter. They're really good. I'm gonna pop the try-on clips here and talk to you guys through the outfits. First outfit, I'm absolutely obsessed. I wore this one to go get my hair done and it was cute and comfy and I'm absolutely here for those fits. Starting off with a little Nike baby tee. These, got one in white and one in black. The comfiest things you'll wear. They're like stretchy and like thin, but like warm. It's almost like skims material. Amazing. And I love the little, little Nike tee. It's such like a sporty little add to it. Not too cropped, but not too long. They're the perfect. I think I got like an eight or a, like a slash small. And then I paired them with these little, it was a little Nike fit, a little Nike trackies. These trackies, they're like, they're like straight leg, but they don't look like ridiculous. Like they're not flared. 
um, but they don't like cinch around the ankle. I didn't know how I was going to feel, but I'm absolutely obsessed with them. Um, they were like a tiny bit baggy, which I wanted, so I want because I wanted to roll them. So I rolled them at the waist. Um, and these are the comfiest things, but they're still like cute. I paired them with my new Nike sneakers. These are called the Up, Up, Mo, Up, something. I don't know. The, the link will be in the description. Um, these are my new favorite sneakers. My friend got these and I was absolutely obsessed, but I didn't know how I feel about them like in real life or on me. They're very like basketball wife, you know what I'm saying? Like man's out on the field, and, like sitting there watching him play. I'm just a very basketball player, but I'm absolutely here for them. They have come in a few different colorways. I got the all white ones, but I feel like I might go back and get another color because they're so cute. But yeah, absolutely obsessed with this fit. It's like casual and like comfy, but also cute. You could even chuck like a jacket or a hoodie if it does get like a bit too cold. Chef's kiss. Speaking of hoodies, we have a little matching hoodie and track set. This is Nike again. I really was really feeling the Nike this month, um, but it's just a matching tracky vibe. I feel like this is really cool with like the inside out vibe, like the stitching. Absolutely adore this. Once again, extremely comfortable. Nike has like such amazing quality. Um, and yeah, absolutely love this. I feel like you could definitely wear them separately if you felt like it was too much with the matching pair. Personally, I feel like you kind of have to like, not have to, but like they look really good matching because they like match each other's vibes. Once again, these were like the white Nike sneakers so cute then i have the same nike baby tea i was talking about but in white so cute once again same stretchy comfy like can dress up can dress down you can even wear this with like jeans and cute little like sneakers or slides and that could be a vibe also got these white nike trackies now these are like super high waist so if high waist is your vibe highly recommend i'm more of a mid-waisted girl so i did fold them but it looked really cute because when i folded them then i had like a really like thick Almost like a, like a little blanket vibe around my waist because like when I folded it, it got like extra thick and I kind of like since my waist in low key. But yeah, white trackies, a little black Nike tick. Once again, these are like straight leg. They're a bit more wide leg than the black ones. And I feel like because they're wide, it's a bit more noticeable. But I feel like it was like a cute way to make trackies like a bit more dressy and not just like your daggy trackies. These are extremely thick and comfortable. It feels like you're wearing a blanket. I'll definitely, I just spack because I'm so into this. Like I'm looking out right now and it's raining and I'm like tempted to go put those trackies on. This jacket. I've been looking for one of these jackets because I feel like it's super hard to get this jacket vibe without it being like a bit like, cr like not cringe, but a bit like chewy. I don't know, but Culture King nailed this jacket. Like it is so cute. It's got the perfect amount of like stuff going on, like patches and writing, but it's not like too much. And they've kept the colors like pretty simple. I'm absolutely loving this green color, especially for winter. And I don't know, it's perfect size, perfect everything. Um, the links will be in the description if you want to shop these. Um, but yeah, I'm absolutely obsessed with this jacket because I've literally was talking to my friend about how much I wanted to get one, but I couldn't find one that was like the right one. Do you know what I mean? Like I, it's like thick because I feel like most of them are quite thin and it's like, well, you need it to be thick because it's like the vibe, but it's not like you don't die of heat when you're wearing it. Yeah, such a fan. All the links will be in the description. Thanks so much to Culture Kings for sponsoring this part of the video. I love them so much. And yeah, enjoy the rest of the vlog. Mwah. I located a bin. Oh, Peter Alexander, I have to go in. Okay, that was really yummy, but could be better. <laughs> no, it was actually so good. All right, let's go to Peter Alexander because I literally cannot walk past Peter Alexander and not go in. That's literally a can't you do that. I hate you. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> no, I hate you. Let's go. I got a new set and new slippies. Okay, it's so cold right now. Oh my god, it's so cold today. My actual hands are gonna fall off. Anyway, yeah, I got two things. I'm so excited. Are you kidding me? Okay, where else should we go? My friend works on this street, so I'm gonna go find her and hunt her down and just be like, hey babe. I'm just gonna be like, what are you doing here? I'm really going, man. Why is she not here? Oh my god, maybe she hasn't started yet. Oh, that's so awkward. I'm just not even here. That's so awkward. Now I just have to leave. Bye! Sam, if you're watching this, that was so awkward. My friend Izzy is coming out with a jewelry collection with a brand, and she's coming to drop it off to me right now. And she just drops off to Sam, the other girl who went to go store and she wasn't even working. Oh, I just texted her by the way and she goes, oh, I'm here, I'm at the back. 
slag. Anyway, so Izzy's gonna come meet me and drop me her PR box and I'm that excited. Her collection has little chilies in it. Anyway, let's try and hunt her down. Okay, we found her. Where is she going? She, she's driving away from me, come back. Got the cutest stuff. Oh my god, there's an old couple and he's grabbing our ass. And I, I wanna be like Emma Chamberlain and have someone else film for me. Cause like that would be way more better than this shitty angle. People can see me, I shouldn't be doing that. But this, this street's literally packed. I just picked up my PR package. I'm literally walking down the street like this. I don't give a fuck, but I'm so excited. I'm literally going to see Izzy tonight for dinner and Sam, little girl gang. So I'm literally gonna wear those earrings and we can all tween it so cute. I'll do a haul when I get home. I don't know when they're releasing, but I'll find out more information until you. But go to my Instagram because I post everything on my Instagram. Okay, let's keep exploring. I just got a Beckenbridge jumper and some little bee earrings for my mom and a bee necklace because she's obsessed with bees because it means like matriarchy, etc. Yeah, let's keep exploring. Okay, so this like street that I'm on is like literally like, I don't even, I'm assuming like 10, 20 kilometers long. Um, so I got, went, walked back to my car. By the way, I've got some cute stuff. I'm going to do a haul later. I walked back to my car and then, um, oh no, oh no, oh no, I'm about to get trimmed. I'm genuinely about to get trimmed. Oh no, oh no, I literally just almost got trimmed. I'm wearing Izzy's pieces. Also, I got this little sad stud. Look how cute it is in my little shop. Um, do I have to pay for parking here? I don't think so. Um, but yeah, this is Izzy's collection. The little chilies look how cute. I'm absolutely obsessed. I feel like it looks like good with like the blonde, like the little red chilies. Anyway, I'm just gonna stroll. Should I go get my jacket? I'm a bit cold. Anyway, I'm just gonna go stroll and just vibe and just, I've just moved. I just parked a little bit further down. Turns out I'm in the food kind of section of the street. So I need to turn around, I'm going the wrong way because I don't want to eat yet. so awkward that is so awkward i thought that was a frame shop but it was like a frame shop not a frame shop do you get what i'm saying okay so i've left that street and now i'm in like the middle of like the city and i'm gonna go to like valencia Assi and dior i'm gonna park right at the front of valenciaga <gasps> like what are the odds it's literally so hard to find a park in the city but let's go explore trying on these two pieces. This is really cool. I love this hat. So I'm just gonna try these on. This dressing room's huge. <laughs> Let's try this hat. Oh, I actually really like that. I actually really like that. I don't know how much I'd wear it. I don't know how I feel about this music in the change rooms, but I'm gonna try the jump on. Oh, that's really nice. This is an extra small, this is the smallest size they have. And it's like huge, but I love how boxy it is. I just realized when I was walking down that street, I went into a store and I bought like heaps of stuff like cushions and stuff that I couldn't be able to carry. So I was like, oh, I'm you walking back past this way. Can you just like hold them? Then I'm now I'm literally in the city, like 25 minutes away from that street. I literally just left her. I just wanted to go back and pick them up. But I think I'm just gonna drop this in the car. I got some stuff from Balenciaga. Put this in the car and then I'm gonna go look for some gifts. Hi Queens, lunch is in the oven. I just made a tuna bake. Now I'm gonna do my haul. I of course had to get the salt and pepper shakers that I saw. Oh my god, I thought she gave me the wrong ones then. Look at them little naughty boys. Oh, I just thought that was so funny. I don't really know why they have a blue and red ring around them. That kind of like kills the vibe. Really wish they were just plain pink. Maybe I'll just paint over it. But got these salt and pepper shakers. I thought that was so funny. And just like they're actually cute because they're pink, but I don't know about that blue and red ring. Then I got these holders so random but i just thought they were cute like around my house i'm trying to like build my aesthetic um they're very like unstable like that could literally be knocked over instantly but they're just like sitting um i got a little sag stud as you can see a little sagittarius sign they only had one in stock but i only wanted one anyway so got a bit of a mismatch thing going on but i'm kind of here for it what else did i get i got peter alexander pajamas i just moved these 
these are I'm obviously gonna put them on right now. And I got this little set because I just love a good matching set. And this one's like long sleeve and long pants for winter. And I love this color. I just thought it was so cute. A little like pastel popsicle vibe. Peter Alexander like this like the winter ones are good because they're not like super thick. When she's in the oven, I'm just making a little tour in a bake. But look at my shoes. So beautiful. Anyway, I'm gonna make one too much Love Island. Lunchtime and Love Island. Oh, <gasps> I'm watching it. I can see a Davide's day and I literally have tears in my eyes. Why do I have goosebumps all over me? Can you see that? I forgot to go to the PO box today, so I'm ducking off to the PO box. <sighs> my apartment lift is broken. I was just standing there trying to get to my level. It's just not working, so I had to get up at a random level when someone got in. I'm now walking up like four flights of stairs to get to my level. Is that? <laughs> <laughs> well, I've never oh, been down to the downstairs home. Oh, you've never? No, I was upstairs. Oh, it's so good. I'm gonna go right around the corner. <laughs> The first box, which consists of tuna tataki, snappers, sashimi, and salmon karashi. Right over here, we get the snappers sashimi. Good morning! It's Saturday. I'm waking up. I'm feeling great because I made the smart decision to go home last night. Did the two girls we were with end up texting us saying that they met Jack Harlow in a private room? Yes. Do I literally want to cry about that? Yes. It's okay. But good morning, I'm feeling great, I'm feeling cute in my new pieces. Caught this hoodie yesterday, caught this hat yesterday, which everyone told me not to cop, but I'm loving it. Um, my eyes are like being weird, I don't like it. Um, but I'm about to go off to the market with a friend who met Jack Harlow last night. I'm okay, I'm honestly okay. I'm honestly okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. I don't have goosebumps all over my body right now out of anger. I'm honestly fine. Uh, but apparently he only came out for like six minutes, so... But well, I still met him. Anyway, I'm off to the markets, um, and then we might get like brunch after. Then I'm not probably wander off and do like some like more homework shopping again. Because um, I just like love shopping by myself. It's like my form of therapy. And then I have a Sticky Fingers concert tonight with Sam um, and two other friends. But I need to figure out what I'm wearing to that. I also need to figure out whether like we're definitely going because it's kind of like up in the air. Like I have tickets, but like, do I really know Sticky Things that well? No, I love their music, but I only know a few songs. Like I'm not a true fan, I'll admit that. Um, but it'll still be fun. So this is the fit and I'm loving it. And yeah, I need to go because I'm going to be late. But yeah, we should put some lip liner on because my lips are kind of fading away here. Thank you. That is a lot of avo, holy moly. Looking for anything in particular? No, she's just browsing, yeah. But I'll definitely let you know. Thank you. on Netflix drives me mental. Oh. So can you tell me why my MacBook has red flickering bars whenever I watch anything on Netflix? Drives me mental. 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 I swear to God. Just kind of left you guys hanging there. I never actually edited the vlog. It's a few days later. I'm editing it. I'm sick as a dog. Um, and I just wanted to end it properly. With, just didn't want to put on the screen like end of the vlog. You know I mean? I feel like you deserve more than that. So end of the vlog. I love you. Thanks for watching. Was it boring? You'll never know. Don't don't hate me. Don't ever subscribe. Um, but I feel like some of you guys like that content. Just me like pottering around. If you want to see, if you want more of those, like, let me know what you guys want. Like if you want me to only vlog interesting things like events, or you love seeing my. Also, I have like tan on right now. I don't usually look like this. If you want to see like my day to day, if you want get ready with me, I don't usually do them, and they're more TikTok and Instagram. But let me know because I found that really fun vlogging. Just what I usually get up to, but. 
Let me know. I love you. Thanks for watching.